Welcome. To a space, almost like the room you're in. Odyssey, which is a virtual reality, live audio play experience for audiences, has been made over a four month period working with young people all across the city of Derby. The piece has specifically worked with care experienced young people and families who have taken part in virtual reality curation workshops and also creative writing workshops. So we're actually using bespoke software that we've programmed at the University of Derby um, to implement uh, what's called ambisonic surround sound and we've got like an array of speakers that go around the audience so while they're exploring they're actually also exploring the soundtrack, they're exploring the audio and with it being loudspeakers and externalised from themselves it gives them a much more natural uh, and a less fatiguing experience actually so much nicer than wearing headphones and they're all experiencing it together but in different parts so you can actually explore the soundscape. As sound design in this production I found that the process from the get-go was to of course analyse the script, really explore the emotional intention behind each of the stories that the young people were telling. It's a huge bucket list thing for me but also as a care experienced person myself it's been really important to help tell the stories of other people in foster care, kinship care, in children's homes and to really help their voices be heard as they deserve to. VR and live is a really interesting area to be in. Uh, I think we kind of, we sometimes forget that we can just get quite insular and make our projects kind of all about the digital, but actually having live and working with like children and young people makes it kind of, we have to get out there and kind of see what people see. And like today we, we put children in the project and they got to see their work in VR for the first time. And that's something we don't always get when we're just kind of sitting in our studio making VR. Projects like this remind us that like, the audience is there and that's what we're doing our work for. I've been sucked into a game. I've no clue how I got it in here. I remember sitting on my bed and setting up my console to play. Next thing I know, I get sucked in like a ghost in a vacuum. It's still all just art. It's less about the technology. I don't really want people thinking about technology. I want them thinking about the content. The piece is very impactful to watch to hear those stories and to hear those words. But probably more than that, there's the impact for the young people who took part in it. I want them to understand what it's like to be able to be heard, to tell their story, um, for them to know what it's like also to be a part of a performance and to be part of our world that we create as well. This is a road to a happy place. The stakes feel high, but you get to choose who you want to be. Design your life from scratch. Start over if you change your mind or if it all goes a little bit pear-shaped. I found it a little bit strange because you sort of get immersed into it. You think to yourself you're not going to let yourself be because you're obviously aware that you're in the rounds. And then before you know it, you're in a Henry Hoover thinking, oh, well, let's touch this, let's do that. Once you hear the music and also the words and then you're putting the words and then you're picking out things in the rooms, that we went into that connected to the words that were being said as well. So um, overall, I think some great messages and a great insight into the young people who wrote this, their minds and their way of thinking. I think it was very poetic as well. I loved it. It was so wonderful to see these really visual environments capturing the emotions and the feelings and the, the poetry that had come up in the conversations we'd had just, just as groups. So it felt really transportive. Yeah, totally step into a different world and feel safe and guided and to have it be their voices. Um, yeah, it, it felt really, really special. Yeah, it was really good and I thought like a sort of new adjustment, a new experience because we kept thinking like everything was real but obviously it's not. But no, it was really good, like we didn't know that people were like in the room. So to take him, the goggles off and to see them, it was a big surprise I thought. Oh hell, looks like you made it. We all do eventually. Where are we? The belly of the beast. I'm the beast. Apparently. We didn't do anything wrong. Hey, neither do I, okay? Let me spell it out for you. Poor Hoover. But with the sadness of living, places my stream in his stomach. Put his smile there too. I'd like to say a big thank you to Derby Theatre, Esme Fairburn, Quad, 
the Virtual School Derby, MBD, the University of Derby and Derby College for allowing us to use their beautiful roundhouse space to hold this project and a big, big, massive thank you to all of the young people and families whose work has contributed to making Odyssey such a fantastic piece. Thank you. When you go for the hardest times, I was there when you really need it I guess life's a blessing, say that it feels like your heart is bleeding And my life ain't all too easy, when I jump on tracks they write in a zone Cause that's way they express my feelings, cause that's way they express my feelings Look, I'm tryna go far no more, but a hundred in this industry Like I miss my work it out, I guess that's how life plans out When you're on your own in this cold and world, tryna make some history